Gear Konami. <sighs> I, I'm tired of this, man. And I'm pretty sure a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players are tired of this too. And I'm pretty sure you guys can relate to my pain. <sighs> This type of video that I'm gonna showcase you guys, it's either you love it or it's either you hate it. And it's gonna be a combo video, which involves one card again. I showcased that one card combo earlier last week and the video blew up. I'm about to showcase you guys something. It's not even similar to that. It's crazy. It's, it's, how would I say? It's it's crazy. It's it's just crazy. Today I'm gonna be showcasing you guys this one card combo deck in action. You're able to just, you know what? You guys will see in a second on why this is a problem in Yu-Gi-Oh! And why I truly believe that some of these cards need to be addressed on the following Forbidden Limitless. Again, guys, I do not condone these type of combos uh, in real life. But if it wins, it wins, you know? If you want to go ahead and play it, I don't mind. But I'm here to just spread awareness so it can potentially get hit on the Forbidden and Limitless. So, yeah, man. And you know, for those of you here on the channel for the very first time, my name is Sam from Team Xamarin X1. Hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. Make sure you guys click on the subscribe button and make sure you guys turn the notification bell to get notified each time I upload videos. It'll be absolutely amazing. As always, smash the thumbs up, break, uppercut that thing, the thumbs up button. It'll be absolutely phenomenal. And yeah, guys, stay tuned for more content to come. I got some crazy videos to come on the channel here for you guys. So make sure you guys have that bell turned on. It's very important, okay? For you guys to be the first ones to watch these fire videos. All right, guys, don't waste any more of your time. Without further ado, dear Konami, please fix this. All right, guys, welcome back to EDO Pro. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing you guys this very awesome combo deck that I've discovered on Facebook slash YouTube. Shout out to Alpha Trading Cards and also Ready for Duel. I've came across both the deck profile and also the combo video from both of their channels. Regardless, the deck list will be in the description box below. Let's see what hands Yu-Gi-Oh Gods has given us today to basically combo off to make this unbreakable board here against our opponent. So without further ado, let's begin. So we're gonna go first right here. Okay, very awesome hand by the way guys. We got Call by the Grave, Despot 003, Gigantis, Despot 001, and also Necross of Valkyris. This deck right here is a mixture of Necross, Combo, Ritual, whatever you guys wanna call it. Check out the deck profile in the description box below. So looking at our hand right now, we have full combo. This is gonna be utilizing only Despot 003, and that's it. And you need nothing else. Whatever cards you have in your hand, it doesn't even matter because this is all you need. We, unfortunately, we drew the Despot 001, but it's okay because, because we can still special summon it from our hand. If it was in our deck, we could have had another card to play with. It would have been a little bit better. First and foremost, we're gonna normal summon Despot 003. We're gonna activate Despot 003 effect. We are gonna special summon the Despot 001 directly from the deck. So that's the first step that you gotta do. And of course, using Despot. 003 and also Despot 001. We're gonna make the Crystron Needle Garbage, Hakko Firebrax. Unpopular opinion, by the way. A lot of people say that this card needs to be banned. Unpopular opinion. You just gotta play more hand traps. Play more hand traps. You have Dark Rune no more. You have Lightning Storm. You have Mystic Mind. I can name all the hand traps in the world. Effect Builder, Impermanence, DD Crow, whatever Dark Ruler. The list goes on and on. There are cards that Konami made to counter this card. This card shouldn't get banned, but that, that's just me. That's what I said, unpopular opinion. That's all. Off Hack of Firebrack's ability, we get a special, of course, Despot 001 directly from our hand. Just imagine we still had four cards in our hand because Needle Fire would be special from the deck or from the hand, which is really amazing. And now using Hack of Firebrack's and also Despot 001, we're gonna make the Aura Dawn right here, which is completely unfair, by the way. I think this card is just insane. Even though if Needle Fiber gets banned, Ordon is still gonna be a thing, and if Ordon is still gonna be a thing, Despot 001 is gonna be a thing. You guys are gonna see in a second on how crazy Despot 1 is because Ordon will get a trigger off its effect to summon, of course, three Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. Okay, very, very cool. Uh, and then this is when it gets crazy because Despot 001 will both trigger off their effect. Whenever two or more machine monsters is summoned to the field simultaneously, you get a special summon Dustbot 001 directly from the graveyard, and their effects are not once per turn. 
and they're also level one tuners. So now using a Despot 001 and also a Mecha Phantom Beast token, we're gonna make Herald of the Arc Light right here. I feel like a lot of cards needs to be checked on the next Forbidden Unlimited list, man, especially with this Master Rule 5 thingy majiggy because you don't need to open zones anymore so making synchros xc's and all that becomes very easily accessible right because so i'm gonna make arc light number one then we make arc light number two all right so make arc light uh right here which is really good and now using these two arc light we're gonna make dugalus right here okay so now we're gonna activate dugalus ability we are gonna special the monster from the graveyard by detaching Two Xyz material, the monster that we're gonna special summon off the Gallus ability is Despot 001. Okay, now this is when it gets crazy because since Herald the Arc Light is sent to the graveyard, we get to search off Herald the Arc Light, alright guys? And boom, remember these cards aren't ones per turn. That's the beauty about having combos like this. One's gonna search Brown Act directly from the deck to our hand, and the other is gonna search Ben 10 directly from the deck to our hand. Ben 10, Ben 10, Omnitrix, shout out to Ben 10. Um, <laughs> anyway, so now using Despot 001 and also a Mecha Phantom Beast token, we're gonna make the third Herald the Arc Light right here. And this is when it gets crazy because, yo, you guys can see right here, we have only used two Link monsters so far only Orodon and also Neo Fiber. That's all you need, guys. This is why, dear Konami, I'm tired of this. I am so tired of seeing stuff like this being available in our metagame. One card combos should not exist. It takes away from Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Look at the cards I have in my hand still. This is ridiculous. We can use Ordon's ability. Special on one Mecha Phantom Beast monster from your deck by tributing two monsters. We're gonna special on this guy right here, Colt Wing right here. And Colt Wing basically can gain infinite levels. So we're gonna activate Colt Wing's effect. And we're also going to trigger off the Hero of the Arc Light's ability. At this point, Hero of the Arc Light can search a Ritual Spell and Trap card or a Ritual Monster. It's up to you on what you want to search. But I just want to showcase an example. If I did not have Call by the Grave in my hand, I would have searched Necros, a Mirror, or a Kaleidoscope either way. In this instance, I just want to showcase you guys how we can combo off without Call by the Grave in our hand. Because we do need a card to set, which is really important. We could have just searched the Unicorn or any other Ritual card directly from my deck to man using Herald's ability, right? So we're gonna special, of course, two tokens off Cold Queen's ability. All the Mecha Phantom Beast monsters are so good because they generate tokens and generating tokens is never healthy for Yu-Gi-Oh, obviously, especially if you're able to make crazy boards of this caliber. But now guess what happens? Since two monsters, since two machine monsters is special on the field simultaneously, guess what triggers? Despot 001. Look at this, guys. Look at the beauty of this. I don't like this, okay? I have to admit i don't like this and i'm tired of this man it's crazy like i'm not a fan of the mermail combo as well man it's it's very very cancerous and now using of course the despot and of course one token we are gonna make christron quan nax right here and now cold wing is gonna become a level seven because it gains levels equals to the amount of tokens on the field and now since it's a level seven and we have despot zero zero one what can we make boar sword savage dragon so not using these two Using these two, we summon Borosword Savage Dragon, uh, which is really good. Now we're going to activate Borosword Savage Dragon's ability. We are going to target the Neo Fibers in our graveyard, equipped to it. So that's one negate right now. Now, using these two, it's a level 7, okay? So we can use these two to make Shooting Riser Dragon, okay? And then we can activate Shooting Riser's ability. We're going to send Effect Builder in this instance. I kind of wish I played Jet Sync Quan instead. I felt like that would have been a little bit better. But Effect Builder is just a really awesome hand trap that you can play. And it's also not once per turn, right? But off Riser, you need to at least send one level 1 monster to the graveyard. And now what we're going to do is that, look, we have 6 cards in our hand. This is our board right here. It gets really crazy in here because we're going to use Brown Axe ability. We're going to search the Colossus directly from our deck to our hand. And now we're going to activate Colossus ability. We're going to search the Necross Cycle directly from our deck to our hand. And now using Cycle, we can activate Cycle's ability. We can special in Brown Act from the graveyard by sending Ben 10 to the graveyard. Special of course Brown Act. Ben 10 will now trigger off her ability. She's gonna be able to search Arc Lord Christia directly from her deck to her hand. And now using these two right here, they're both level sixes, which is perfect for Ultimate Dezoken. This card right here becomes really broken in Master Rule 5. Remember guys, it's off one card. This is one card combo again. One card combos ruin Yu-Gi-Oh. Let me tell you that. Just like Goki format, open up Vion, two warriors, Vion, is old as game, right? Since I already got caught by the grave, I should have searched something else instead of the Necroz Mirror. I would search Necroz Mirror because it's a card that's settable to trigger off Ultima's ability. So we can set the Necroz Mirror. We can activate Ultima's effect. 
Special Summon Crystal Wing directly from our extra deck. And guys, look at our graveyard now. How many... How many fairy monsters in the graveyard? So we have one. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. We have four fairy monsters in the graveyard. You know what that means, right? Arc Lord Christia. Activate Christia. We can add Ben 10 to our hand. And this is our end board with one card. Look, look, guys, we have four cards left in our hand. How many cards did we start off with? Five. Start, we, we, we start off the deal with five cards, right? L look at the board. This is a plus one, two, three. So it was, we have five, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus six. Plus six. You see that? You, you, do, do you see this? You can say, call by the grave. Good luck, player. Good luck. I'm sorry that I had to do this to you, but look. Look at this. And I also have Valk in my hand as well. Armageddon Knight? I can negate with... What is he going to do? What deck is he playing? What deck is he playing? I have Christy on the field. If... if, if... Okay, so Orcus say return. He's playing Orcus. Cause to descend. Oh. See ya. Savage negate. And you know what? Just to put the icing on the cake. See ya. What? 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 <laughs> if your turn does not start off, if 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 your turn, if your turn, entering battle phase. Let's go. And I also get to enter battle phase as well. If your turn does not start off with Dark Moon no more, unfortunately, boys and girls, you're not winning the duel. And that's just the harsh reality. GG, man. GG. Thanks for being a good sport, man. This guy is a good sport. How come I, my message isn't sending? Yeah, man. Thanks for being a good sport, player. I really appreciate that. But you guys see this. This is this. This is. Yo, guys. No matter what you tell me, I love this game regardless of what craziness this game has to offer. There is a beautiful side of Yu-Gi-Oh! And there are so not beautiful side of Yu-Gi-Oh! But regardless, I love this game so, so much. And... Let me tell you, I'm tired of combos like this. I don't like this combo personally, uh, but it's something that exists and I need to showcase you guys out there, you know? So you guys know that, hey, it's possible and it's really cool to see stuff like this off one card, right? Especially the ceiling that Yu-Gi-Oh! has to offer here for Master Rule 5 is endless. And that's what I love about Yu-Gi-Oh! so much. But at the same time, I love combos like this, but I don't like facing combos like this. You feel me? But... I don't recommend this to anybody. I don't know how consistent this deck is. Uh, the one thing about this deck is that it might not be as consistent as you think, but the crazy boards that you can put up is insane. So if you guys wanna check out the deck profile, check out the deck profile in the description box below. And yes, pretty much it, guys. Let me know your thoughts about this combo. And what are you tired of in Yu-Gi-Oh? What, what, what bugs you guys in Yu-Gi-Oh? Leave a comment in the comment section below. And that's pretty much it. This is your boy Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. All right, guys, peace.